McGregor and Nate Diaz. All right, get out your 209 tattoos, folks. Here he is, Nate Diaz, one of the biggest superstars in all of mixed martial arts. It's amazing to think where he could have taken his star power if he was in a regular cycle competing. Yes, yes if he fought as regularly as most guys, his star power would, would be even bigger. But Nate Diaz moves at his own pace. A phenomenal striker and a great jiu-jitsu tacticianer. You fall into Nate Diaz's guard, you will get submitted as he's shown on a number of occasions. A fantastic fighter. Welcome back, Nate Diaz. You're not gonna out cardio these Diaz brothers. You're not gonna out tough Nate Diaz. And once again, he is facing top competition here tonight. We'll see how it goes for Nate Diaz here in his UFC return. He is the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, and in a division that has so much depth in that top 15, it's even more remarkable that this man has remained the hunted. The question tonight, with a powerful challenger out of that blue corner, can he walk away and still? All right, now let's get you our tail of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. McGregor is 32. Diaz is 35. He is three inches taller. He will have a two-inch reach advantage. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Jean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Welterweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 22 wins, 13 losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Stockton, California, presenting the challenger, Nick Diaz. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 22 wins, six losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world. They touch gloves and we are underway. Ready. For a third time, you got Nate Diaz versus Conor McGregor. The first two fights for Greg Johns. Can this one live up to the first one? Oh, I think 
like it will. The celebrities have come out in droves. I'm going to work this fight for free, DC. I've decided tonight. I don't need a paycheck. I'll this. take the check. I will take the check. I'll take the money, John, if you're giving it away. But I would pay to watch these boys fight. All right, we'll see how it plays out. They are underway. Oh, do you believe that another head kick lands? Got to start raising that guard or this is going to be the end of the fight. I mean, it's going to be the end of the fight. It's very surprising that he's even standing upright after taking such a bad shot. Oh, he lands a knee to the body now, DC. Talk to us about that strike. They suck so bad, especially when you're going forward. You are full speed to a knee to the body. It could in the night. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Nice, sneaky head kick. All right, single collar tie now. Well, nice display of hands there by Conor McGregor. And let's not forget, after preparing for Floyd Mayweather, he said he felt like it would help his boxing immeasurably in mixed martial arts setting, and largely DC, that's the way it's played out. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Oh, huge right hand! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find it's home. Oh, man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got to the leg, got to his position, got another beautiful takedown. Nice punch there. Oh, big elbow. All right, so another swing and a miss, and I'd imagine if your gas tank is this low, you gotta find times to try to preserve that energy and, and get yourself back to a place where you can actually build out some damage. Yeah, you gotta get out to space. Find places to Huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. 25 total strikes have already landed for Nate Diaz. Nice loop and punch. Well, now if you're the opponent, you really got to be careful as Diaz is able to find a home for that right hand yet again. When Diaz starts landing the right hand, you have got to stay firm. You have got to dig your heels in the ground and say, no way you're going to just run me over. Easier said than done when you're facing Nathan Diaz. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. All right, so there it is, the early takedown. He told everyone here during fight week within earshot that he was going to try to wrestle, try to get this fight to the ground, and had no problem doing so just then. During their fight camp, they made a checklist, and they checked off the most important part of the fight, getting an early takedown. Yeah, he's hurt really bad. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. That was a jab. Just missing on the high kick there. Oh! The jab followed by the right hand. Oh! Diaz gets absolutely punished by that head kick. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. A big kick there. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Back to the feet. Oh, effective strike there by Diaz. Man, how good is that jab from Nate Diaz? Almost as if he's been doing it for 20 years, right? I mean, he has been doing it. You know, he's got a great boxing coach in Richard Perez, a guy that he believes in, a guy that has allowed him to gain the confidence to stand with the best strikers in the world. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Nate Diaz.
gotta be kidding me. Another head kick lands. He's gotta start blocking these DC. One more and it could be lights out. It could be over and most people would be sleeping on the mat after taking such a dominant strike. Credit to his chin, but you don't want to get kicked that many times in the head. Well, the octagon, not a great place to be when you're looking for a rest or a stool. His stamina has been a huge issue. It's a bad but he did it. He tried. He fought as hard as he could for as long as he could. Now it's about survival mode. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, oh, strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be... There's another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighter saw it coming. So a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. And there he is, our UFC welterweight champion of the world. He's gonna like the sound of that. Getting it done with style points by way of knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is called to stop to this contest at three minutes, 45 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still.